To be insured or not to be insured? That is the question. Ah, it's Kevin the Mortgage Man here with another one of our educational series. Why do I start with Shakespeare? Well, this is going to be one of those to be or not to be questions. Today, we're going to talk about some recent changes that have created essentially three categories of mortgages. They are insured, uh, insurable, and uninsurable. So let's start with the first first, which would be the insured mortgages. Insured mortgages, if you are in one of these, are essentially mortgages where you are putting down less than 20% down, you are capped at a 25-year amortization, and you're qualifying at the benchmark rate. The benchmark rate currently sits at 5.14%. And more importantly, you're also paying the CMHC, the Canada Guarantee, or the Genworth Mortgage Insurance Premium. So that is deemed to be insured, insurable. This is a new category essentially as of the 1st of January they got created. And basically, if you are insurable, you're either doing a purchase or a renewal or a refinance. You are capped out at a 25-year amortization. You're also qualifying at the benchmark rate. However, two key criteria are different here. If you're doing a refinance, you're not pulling out any equity. That's right. So if your mortgage is up for renewal, you're going to a new lender dollar for dollar, but you're not pulling any new money out. Also, with these types of mortgages, you are still qualifying at the benchmark rate as well. So if you meet all of that criteria, you're deemed to be insurable. And one more thing that I should mention is that in these circumstances, you're not paying the CMHC, Genworth, or Canada Guarantee premiums. Your lender, the one who you're going to now be with, they're the ones who are going to absorb these premiums. The last group is uninsurables. So essentially how this works is like this. You, A, if you're doing a refinance, need to pull money out. The moment you pull out one new dollar, that's it. It's now uninsurable. If you need more than a 25-year amortization, you're uninsurable. If now, the, uh, the other thing is, now you're gonna be qualifying at the rate plus 2%. This was a big change as of January 1st. In the past, you could just qualify on your regular posted rate or whatever rate you were being offered, but now you're gonna to have to qualify on that rate plus 2%. We've got a few lenders still that are not that are skirting around this rule for now. So in those circumstances, you may still be able to qualify at the actual rate. But because you're pulling money out, um, you know that's happening. You're uninsurable. If you're making a purchase, what deems that to be uninsurable is if the purchase price is over a million dollars. Once again, you need a 30-year amortization and you perhaps are looking to qualify at an actual rate and not the benchmark rate. I know it's fairly confusing and it can throw people off. Even for professionals like us, occasionally we sometimes get confused. But at Auxilium Mortgage, we take the confusion out of everything. We're here to assist, we're here to help, we're here to aid. Essentially, that's what Auxilium means, it's to care, aid, assist, and support. And that's the reason why we produce these videos and put them out there, because we like to bring you, our clients, up to speed on what's going on so you can learn a little bit more about the mortgage process. Again, thanks for watching this video. We really appreciate you doing so. Please feel free to leave any comments below. We'd like to hear from you. If there's anything you'd like us to be talking about, hot topics you'd like to be mentioned, covered off, or just your general feedback is well appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we get, the happier we are. We know that you're doing, you know, people are checking out our videos and they like the content. Anyway, it's been Cam the Mortgage Man. I hope you have a wonderful day and we're going to catch you on our next education series.